this in half. Pause. Water. Okay. So, the things that are needed, first of all, we will fill up this container, maybe half of it with water. Because uh, maybe if it's raining season, we just uh, fill up half of it, they can survive. And later when the raining uh, pouring, they will uh, fill up this container later. So we will sip, we will uh, spend less to carrying on the water. So for first of all, we put half level of water inside this container and then we take around 500 or 600 gram of uh, compost ready made compost like this so after we take our compost we spread it out in our water like this the good compost is uh, when you see like this there's not much things that are floating at the top of the water it's just a little bit just a big leaf that are still floating okay then after we fill with uh, compost we can mix it a little bit like this and then if uh, you have extra time you can take out all of the floating leaf or things that are floating at the top of the water surface this is to help the azola to grow to this um, to multiply the number at the surface water and then lastly we take maybe 200 gram or 300 gram of azola and then we sprinkle it up in our container like this Okay, usually Azola can speak to us although they does not uh, creating any voice but we can see they can tell something to us if the Azola, this Azola uh, become red at the, their side not from the middle it become red from their side that means they does not have enough compost or fertilizer so we can put more fertilizer or compost inside our container the better one we use compost not fertil uh, chemical fertilizer compost fertilizer is more stable and then if the the black things coming up from the middle of the azola that means we put too much fertilizer so if that thing happen when we use this technique we have the pipe here we can take out maybe half of the water up and then we fill more with water if the azola become quite black not red so if the azola become red we just take more compost and sprinkle at the inside of our container that's all gonna ambil Okay, so usually Azola will take around two weeks to become stable and then after it's become stable it will become totally become green like this. If there's still some of other Zola become red, you can put more compost. You can play with the water level for to to get the better the best of, of Azola. So here after it fill up with azola like this, you can harvest maybe half of it or one third of it and then you can feed to your chicken, fish, freshwater lobster or all kind of living things that eat the green things herbivore. Sometimes they say cat also eat and monkey also eat this azola.